Have you been struggling to get balls? And I mean a lot of balls, heavy balls, full balls, balls that set on fire, any kind of balls. Well, in this video, I'm going to be showing you exactly how to get loads of cannonballs because I can understand a lot of you are probably like me and uh, you let your balls loose quite often. Well, obviously, as you would know, you could come to Teluk Punjara or you can go to St. Anne and you've got a hawker. When the hawker... It's Hawker, H-A-W-K-E-R, not Hooker. But yeah, you get a Hawker and you can buy quite a lot of balls. But unfortunately, once you've bought them, you can't get them back rather quick. You have to wait and it's rather annoying. So I've gone here and I've bought all the bits that I want. And now, damn, I want more, but I can't get no more. So obviously, yeah, you could go over to uh, St. Anne and get more. But if you're busy, you want to fill up your balls pretty quick. So this is exactly how you do it. You want to fast travel to this spot right here, which is Parujar's Cry. Probably said it wrong. Correct me in the comments. And if you know any better spots as well, let me know in the comments down below. But come to my exact spot and you just simply want to set sail. So whatever ship you're using, set sail. And from doing this, you want to head to the location I'm about to head to right now. So if I look here at the map, you see this little sliver like this turd in the ocean? Well, this turd in the ocean is going to replenish your balls in no time. Why? Because you can see these little peaches here, the large DMC, DMC shipwrecks. And you can basically do a continuous loop there and fill up your balls like crazy. So right now, what am I sitting at? I am sitting at 1,551 balls. Oh, oh, a kingpin chest. What have I got? Mortar free. Nice. And I got uh, Mr. Harry Bow's eye. I forgot I even had that on me. I probably need to hand that in. Anyway, so as you head through here, you could quickly just grab this ship here on the left. I don't really bother. I mean, because you have to just wiggle in there and wiggle out. It's so much quicker and so much easier if you just head around here. And the spawning point, like I said, was just there. Oh, my God. There's people doing their runs. Lots of them. Let me give them a firework. Right, so yeah, just here on the right, you can see there is a large pirate ship right here. Uh, it's the DMC one, and there are ones on the other sides. All you want to do is do the mini game. So obviously, if you've got the crowbar maxed out, I believe you can uh, get better loot. I'm not not quite sure how it works, uh, and I'm not sure if the purple and the green actually give you more. Um, as you can see, I'm quite unsuccessful. I didn't get any metal scraps from that one. So, this is not a very good example. So, in order to get plain cannonballs, you need metal scraps. But you're getting all the other bits for the other ones. Uh, and so, let's just quickly do one loop. Uh, purple, purple, green. Okay, we've got seven metal scraps from that one. And there's some metal scraps there on the floor. Now, if I go ahead and hit the next one. I'm just going to do a full loop here, guys. So, you can see exactly how much I'm getting from one loop. Boom. Okay. I'm My timing is off. You basically want to stop it in the purple. Okay, I've got another five there. So we're now on 12 metal scraps plus the one on the floor. So we're on 13 metal scraps in just three ships. Let me do this one. There we go. We hit purple. We hit purple again. And we hit a green. We've got another two. So we're on 15. My maths might be not mathing, but it doesn't matter. Um, Why was there a cannibal that just come flying at me? Okay, let me open this one. Purple. Yellow. Mm. My timing is off. Nothing from that one. Okay, that's fine. Doesn't matter. We'll come back to you and there will be more. There is one more shipwreck just here on the edge. So force this one open. And now we've got that one open. We also got no stuff from that one. Uh, but if I then head over here, just to the front slightly, we can see there is another shipwreck just there. There should be another two shipwrecks just here. And just as I'm making a video, of course, the wind is against me. Uh, we never get the wind on our backs. This game... How many times would you say you've had the wind on your back on this game? Like Ubisoft. Ubisoft. What is going on with the goddamn wind? We never, ever get it on our backs. Maybe I'm wrong. Maybe it's just me. But I always seem to have the wind. That's why I actually like the sandbook. Just for the sakes of having the, the flat sail so I can potentially get it on my side a little bit quicker. But I still seem to be sitting at eight knots, which is rather slow for a ship. 
uh, and the sandbuck absolutely deletes. If you want to delete everyone in PvP, then I recommend doing uh, doing the sandbuck build. Um, guys, as well, I would like to give a massive shout out to Thunder Rage. 316 your name is on the screen you little legend thank you for watching all my videos and supporting me and also i'd like to give a shout out to your dad joe whittle for reaching out honestly bro i've got you and i hope you enjoy this content i'm glad you're enjoying this content but anyway where were we there's some more metal scraps and now if i head up here we can see there is another two ships now the whole idea of this is once you've come here and you've done a loop and you've gathered all of them and you've gathered this. They actually reset on themselves. So by the time I've grabbed these two, I'll then be able to go back around in a circle and grab these. But you don't really need to. You could do it once. You could do it twice. You could do it multiple times. But every time you're doing it. So let's just say every two pieces of metal scraps gives me 100 cannonballs. So right now, I could almost get myself. What is that? 1,000 cannonballs? Is that? Wait. Is, what? What? No, I don't want to harvest wood. I want to. I want to get the little shit. Wait. My math ain't ma mathing. Uh, no. Don't want wood. We don't want wood. We want the ship. That's what we want. So let's quickly do the ship. There we go. We didn't get any more metal scraps there. I'll do this last ship just here. And then from completing this last ship, we can see. So there we go. One more ship. Force open. Bam. 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 We got it. No more metal scraps. But by the time I have done the loop, so now I'll just show you one more ship here on the left. They have now got the twinkly, twinkly little stars on them. As you can see, they've all got the little twinkle stars. That means they are now ready to redo the loop and re-get your metal scraps. So last time we didn't get any metal scraps out of this one. But if I quickly just go for it, hopefully we'll get some metal scraps out of this one. We got some metal scraps out of this one this time. So just keep rinsing and repeating that. Um, and then, yeah, you can get yourself a load of cannonballs really flipping quick. But wait, before I forget, once you've got all the scraps and everything, after you've gone to the boats, some of you probably still don't know what to do with them. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly come from the dock and I'm going to fast travel over to Telok Pinjara. Pinjara. Now, you can go to St. Anne, but I'm going to be going to Telok. Um, either, either of the main cities that you can actually walk around, travel to them. And then when you are here... All you want to simply do is you want to head up to what would be the blacksmith. Now, in Telok Punjara, the blacksmith is just found found down here to the left and then to the right. And then you'll find the blacksmith here on the right. Let's go up to the blacksmith. Let's click talk craft because it is a craft. And you go over to the balls. And when you're at the balls, now that I've done it, it's two makes a hundred. So with the amount that I've got, I've got 46 because I've got some in my inventory. But if I go to the 27, I believe I had, uh, ooh, so it'd be half, wouldn't it? Needs 26. So from that one run, one loops made me 1,300 cannibals. Now it is the same material, obviously, for all of them. So you're going to need metal salvage and nails, uh, planks, rusty nails, scavenged wood, planks, rusty nails. You will need torn sails, scavenged wood, rusty nails, a metal salvage, scavenged wood, and torn sails. So literally, if you want to get any kind of ammunition, simply go ahead and do that route. And uh, yeah, guys, I hope this helped. Like, follow, subscribe. See you in the next one. Peace.